Okay, just doing my sound test, guys. Hold on. Um, okay, hold on. Just going to close some bits down. Just see if. I, okay, what we're going to do? We're going to wait for. Um, before I get started, we're just going to wait for sort of like five minutes um see sort of like how things are how things are looking and then we'll go from there <clears throat> yeah so hopefully the stream will be all right i just want to change part of it um i just want to change it to zero three Okay, there we go. Title is something different. Gonna pair with another streamer on Watch Me Work. <sighs> okay, so we'll just wait so like four minutes. Um, whilst we're waiting, what I will do is I will talk you guys through what my plan is for today. So, uh, it was commented to me that this part of the hair looks really good. Um, and it looks really good in the fact that the... Uh, you know the the hair flows out like it's underwater but these parts here too rigid so we're going to like firm these out you're going to get these flowing out i want to work more on sort of like the armor around here and then i want to start thinking about painting and that's kind of like the plan for today so in about four minutes we'll kick start and stuff so i'm going to switch off the mic for the time being and then uh in about four minutes i'll kick start so seven o'clock
make that seven o'clock. So <clears throat> let's get started. Um, just make sure, just quick, one more time. Just make sure it sounds all right. Okay, yeah, all right. <clears throat> so, um, right, so as I was saying before, I want to start by da, 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 getting rid of that <clears throat> and actually getting started. So I'm going to turn that off for the time being. Um, I'm actually going to turn my gradient off whilst I paint. Um, potentially, mm, no, actually, no, I'll keep the gradient on. Um, however, obviously got a lot that we want to get through. So, um, first things first, let's think about... Excuse me, guys. Sorry, I just had to really rush dinner. Um, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I started when I said I was going to start, basically. So, I think I'm just going to, like take the dark brush and just kind of paint in what I kind of think would be best then so um, like that and maybe like like here ah now one thing I want to do I just want to take off the clipping mask so yeah so as I was saying before if anybody has any questions or anything like that always really good to uh to hear from you guys like you know get your questions get what you want to sort of like say out I really do like hearing from you also um, now I think that will look a bit better um, than what we currently have so I'm going to take like a bigger brush and I'm going to kind of just like block paint over it like this uh, just so I can kind of see um, where, where it is and what I'm doing with the hair and stuff so um, because this part here will be a bit more like frayed, a bit more interesting in that sense. So just kind of very quickly blocking that in. And same with this part here. I actually want this to go behind the uh, the shell. So I'm going to make sure that that happens uh, here. Now, absolutely loving drawing this character. Because it's as I said, I've had the thought in my head for a little while now. So see, I have to agree with the person that gave me this feedback initially. Um, I think this is really going to look a lot nicer already. So, but as I said, I'd like to really build into this now. I'd like to like get some armor going on and all that and start thinking about how to design that. Because that's something that I'm not necessarily developing a lot myself. So, um, so a bit about kind of where I'm at at the moment. So, I am currently streaming on Twitch. I'm also streaming on YouTube. And I'm also streaming on Watch Me Work. So, you're probably watching me on one of these platforms now I think um, you know I'm, I'm enjoying that that fact uh, that I've kind of got that like reach out there now but you know I'm trying to grow my channel and stuff so if you guys know anyone that's interested in um, you know seeing live streams in hanging out here and stuff like that please 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 don't be afraid to sort of like push them in this direction obviously it's really cool for me um, I really like having new people join the chat I love when people come in and have a uh, you know I put in a bit of like input and stuff it's really nice to kind of like see um, people you know weighing in with that and like adding how they feel about the artwork they're seeing you know it's always interesting and as always I'm happy to kind of like show how I've done certain things and bits and pieces like that so I think that's really cool um, yeah, so I'm thinking, unlike, uh, you know, a lot of kind of like underwater characters, I'm kind of really thinking I'd like to develop this one a lot more than I've ever developed a character before, really. Um, I'm thinking even sort of like the the, <clears throat> the face and stuff like that. How can I really get this stuff to stand out? So at the moment, I think that already looks, you know, tons better. It looks a lot more like they're under the water and stuff. So hopefully things are going to start looking really cool today really cool so i've obviously got the conch shell here um this here actually i wanted to make it more like a you know like a crab claw or something like that so you know that's kind of reaching around and stuff so we'll just have to see kind of how things go maybe you can get like some coral built onto there as i said i'm using the uh the kind of like twig like corals and stuff now my plan is kind of like you know, paint into stuff and just see how it all goes and go from there i mean it's quite interesting um to sort of see where we end up so you know um yeah so let's keep powering through 
Okay, so got a few people watching here, there and everywhere. Really nice to see you all this evening. Um, you know, welcome to the channel. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll go for a fair bit this evening. Now, I need to have a quick think about what I'm going to do for this. Now, I kind of started to do like bones for the the center bit, which doesn't give a lot of flexibility, which would be fine because obviously, um, you know, but I'm thinking maybe kind of like, are there ways in which I can make the background a bit more interesting and stuff like that? But then I don't want to deter focus from the main character. But I do kind of want to make it a bit more interesting. I mean, she's very generic. I think I need to think about what to do with the chest plate here. Maybe think about how how we might build that in. So obviously get a bit of that there. Just trying to figure out where shoulders and stuff are going and all that. So kind of build into that one there, that one there. That one there. I'm trying to think like, you know, what maybe like some kind of like driftwood sort of thing would be really cool. Um be quite interesting. Maybe something like that. And then build it in there. They give me an opportunity to try and draw some uh some some kind of wood and stuff there as well, which would be quite nice because then she's got this kind of driftwood or old barrel wood, something like that as a uh as a chest area piece. And then we can build into that from there, so it's quite interesting, um, you know. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, so. I think if we do something like that, it could look quite interesting. Um, as I said, like, you know, it's all about... We've got to separate the values as well. That is really important to do. Um, you know, I think end of the day, uh, maybe go not as dark as that, but <coughs> trying to just build into this, get this kind of working and all that. So all right, okay, so. said building into this probably going to go over with a darker shade to really emphasize the fact that it is driftwood paneling um yeah so um thanks reese i really appreciate that yeah so reese on uh youtube has mentioned that it's cool how you don't need to use color um but different shades of gray and white and, and black can kind of show different levels of a drawing and that is that is like the main point behind values which is always really interesting um i find is that you know they always say actually before you even start thinking about colors it's really important to learn about values and um you know I, i'm really starting to appreciate and understand that now hey black mask how you doing i'm i'm here i've been fairly frequent actually with my channel recently which i'm really happy about um you know i really do enjoy live streaming so it's nice to be back everyone it really is um but i'm not i'm going to touch wood on that one because uh i don't want to jinx any of it particularly so yeah but as i've said before you know if there's anyone you know that's interested in this sort of stuff then send them this way you know it's always interesting to uh have more people involved and stuff when i'm doing my live streaming and as i said ask questions yeah give input i'm i'm always happy to hear and talk and all that sort of stuff so building this sort of stuff on there okay so at the moment it's quite rough i haven't obviously started blending and stuff yet but kind of thinking that i've gone too dark definitely in there already which is causing a lot of problems with conflicting with the different uh areas and stuff so i'm just going to kind of glaze over a lot of that all right so i think it's, this is where it's starting to get a bit difficult you know I'm trying to add as much personality as possible I'm thinking about doing things in the hair maybe like kelp or um, you know crustaceans or something you know maybe she decorates her hair with she's got a conch shell there maybe like some other kind of shells and stuff like that potentially um, potentially like maybe some like gravelly bits and stuff like that could be quite interesting but we'll see how that kind of goes as we go um, as I said, I kind of want to build into the face, give it a bit of personality. I'm also thinking about um, 
you know, building in. In fact, I might try and do that now. Building in sort of like a staff, uh, stave for her. Um, that would work quite nicely. So, potentially probably about this distance. So, probably paint that. Potentially, hmm, we'll see how we go. Um, as I said, I'm never really. I I like experimenting around with things and seeing how things go. I could potentially even have the stave down there, but we'll see. Um, she could use like hand-based magic and stuff. I guess it's not like the end of the world. So, hmm. Okay, so um, got those bits there. Got those bits there. Okay, I think now's the time. I keep trying to like um, figure out what I'm doing with this sort of stuff. Like, you know, I really need to go in and start thinking about more closely uh, what's happening. Ooh, can't do that on a hidden layer. More closely on like different aspects of her her person. Um, you know. So keep building into it really. Now, as you can see, that in the foreground, the mid tone here is actually lighter than the highlight I've got for the bones, which is always quite interesting, uh, you know, when you're drawing this sort of stuff. Uh, that's kind of like some of the most important parts, actually, when you start to realise how how there are almost like, there's always that kind of differentiation between your layers. It's quite interesting to see. So, um, I mean, even here, it's going to take a little while to think about it. So I need to think about this methodically. I think I'm going to start with the face and hair and work, well no, I'm going to start with the torso, the armour and stuff and work my way down. So I am going to merge, merge down, merge down, merge down, delete that layer, and merge down. Now it does obviously, as I said, take a little while to build into this stuff so need to think about the values I'm using um, you know the highlights the dark stuff like that and really work into stuff from there so <clears throat> let's look at this comp shell let's get this looking fairly decent so first thing I'm going to do on my other screen is I'm just going to kind of get up a picture of a conch shell conch. and it really does help to obviously watch nature documentaries and stuff like that because the more you watch the more kind of like a mental library you have to draw in on things and stuff so I found some that are kind of like uh, they all look so different it's quite interesting so I'm just looking for one that kind of fits um, and then I'll go from there and try and draw into it but I'll just have to see how that goes I think it's a bit of a too dark a tone uh, I'm actually going to see if I've got the the actual tonal palette that I used originally open this is what my uh, my drawing file looks files look like. Um, do, 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 looking for this. Um, I can't see anything. Um, that would fit it so I clearly have lost it which is typical of me so my advice for all of you would be don't that's the best advice I can give but what I can do is I can just kind of take this one I want it just a tiny bit darker um, you shouldn't use too many tones as I said but at the same time I need something for this here so now the idea is I potentially will in fact I think to make it stand out more I potentially, as I've got this as its own separate layer, um, I'll potentially think about um, making it a clipping mask and stuff like that and building into it. Now I've always got to think about where my light source is coming from, that you know helps quite a lot. So go from there, there we go. Now. Take a bit of time to build into that. Now, as I said, because conch shells always look different, um, you've always got to be like 
slow building into these sorts of things in my opinion so like you know uh, take your time because you still want it to be something that looks fairly uh, fairly accurate now as you can see I've got some darker areas and stuff like that now what I'm going to do with them is I will blend them um, slowly but surely blend them so now as you can see as well we've got these bits here darker areas that kind of show the blend between and that's meant to show that there's a really sudden dip but what I will do is I will have the uh, darker parts like here and I will kind of blend them in just a tiny bit just to show that it's actually a bit more of a smoother curve now as I said at the moment I'm not doing any of the blending um, at the moment what I'm doing is I'm just kind of just kind of getting rid of some of the sharper lines trying to fill things in as well you know see if I can't um, get them looking very natural so this is quite going to be quite an interesting uh, tilted piece and stuff I'm quite intrigued by this already um, you know the the remember the longer it takes to gradiate between two two things I don't know if gradiates a word it is now the longer it takes to gradiate between two things you start to realize that uh, how steep or how gentle um, you have like curvature and stuff like that so it's quite interesting um, and as I said you know like you start to correct mistakes as well, which is quite nice obviously the lights hitting there so I don't want it to hit all of these aspects in the same way so these bits here are going to be masked a lot more in shadow than uh, other parts but the important thing is I don't go that this is still lighter than this because otherwise it starts to over blend you see so I have to be very very careful with some of the stuff that I'm using um, okay so so what I'll do is I'll start like you know blending um, these points together you know I use a very firm brush but then I can sit there and use transfer to blend slowly but the thing I'm going to do for that is I'm going to create a clipping mask and the reason I'll do that is because I don't want to go over the edges here I want to keep them fairly um, skill actually that's no, not going to work and I'll tell you why because excuse me because I haven't painted all of this over um, there are still some bits that are kind of missing but that's fine now as I said just need to paint over these things here And you'll start to see that it blends a lot more, a lot softer, and gets in there. Now, as I said, this is like getting this right for me is really important, and it's important because this, this is something that I'm still developing, and I have been for a while. Uh, you know, it's you can always be developing and stuff on your artwork, and that in particular. Um, I think that it's one of those things that's quite takes a while to get into this sort of stuff and you know once you're there you know, practice take your time don't rush things it's not worth it you know there's a lot that you need to develop on you start to realize that you know you never stop learning especially with with artwork and stuff that's why I don't like uh, I'm not really a uh, modern artist kind of person I've never looked at like uh, you know like some of the modern art I, I went to London uh, Art Gallery and um, <laughs> and when I was there you know one of the exhibits was like hair right like just in a room like furniture holding hair up and stuff like that and you know I, I didn't get it and the person I was with was like think about what it means I was like that somebody had a lot of hair to spare you know like it, it, to me that's not art for me the artwork comes from in particular you know like I love seeing especially in games like you know the things that people create it always amazes me um and i think that's kind of where for me art really is special in games um 
And I'm not just saying that because I'm a huge games fan. I'm saying that because, you know, yeah, the tape. And it's just, it was so cringy, man. I, I just couldn't, like, you know, like, I really couldn't. And I just didn't know what to do with it. I was like, this just to me is not, um, it's not art. You know, and it's sad to say, but it's not how I view art anyway. Um, you know, I admit it takes a lot to get together, but and it maybe took a little while to imagine it and stuff. But at the same time, man, why a room full of hair? Is that not just like super creepy? You know. Now the reason I'm doing really dark outlines to separate stuff is because my values aren't amazing, um, and I really do like the idea of like more of like a sketched kind of like character that's kind of been infilled and stuff to give them really bold uh, details and outlining and stuff so I will be like drawing over things to give them more emphasis okay so And as I said, just drawing in bits, just give a bit more emphasis on the shapes and the and these lines will be really thin and will just be very subtle. Um, okay, so that to me is looking a lot better already. That that can't show. Now we just have to do the rest, of the, the rest of the um, the rest of, the, sort of like the artwork and stuff, but. I mean, I'm quite happy to sort of sit here and. The thing is, I've got to be so careful because it's such like a. It sounds crazy, but it's so hard not to overwork, like the lines into it and stuff. Um, now, obviously, I've kind of done it where. The lines are. More in the shadows, and I've done that because I don't want to. As I said, I don't want to overemphasize on the light areas because that's where they'd lose a lot of the, the shadows and stuff and this is just kind of part of how I like to do my style I guess that you know I like to overemphasize on um, certain aspects of a, of a drawing <clears throat> Now see, I'm starting to see that, and so I go, okay, that's looking all right. That's looking pretty decent. It looks a bit rushed and a bit rough, just because obviously the uh, the painting behind is a bit rushed and a bit rough. So it will kind of develop more into it as we go. So taking our time, working through stuff. Next part, I think I'm going to do is probably this piece of driftwood area uh, rather than the whole of this arm, because I think actually that's going to make me feel a lot better. Then I'll probably end up doing the hair. Um, as you can see, there's a huge step there for both of them, like you know, making them seem a lot more like shapes, a lot more fleshed out. So it's, I heard once a guy went into the tape and put his glasses on the floor after a while. People thought it was someone's artwork and started to criticise it. Yeah, that's the problem with modern art, though, isn't it? You know, people are like, oh, it's it's this, it's that, and you're like, I mean, at the end of the day, you could analyse anything. If you're going to analyse something, though, in my opinion, let's analyse something that's worth analysing and not you know and not just some random crap that's <laughs> that somebody's put there. and I know do you know what's interesting though loads of people would disagree with my opinion and I totally get it like if you think it's art then it's it's art that's kind of how it works nowadays um and I think that's like a really interesting sort of thing to you know to really think about now I've made a big mistake here and uh, the biggest mistake I've made is putting in this this tone stuff here because as you can see it's darker than the background that's not good that is not what I want so I'm going to have to switch back to t turn off my transfer um, I can make it darker when I'm painting my stuff but this is about as dark as it should go and it's actually what mucked up what stops this standing out believe it or not um, it's because I've used it and I shouldn't have this is my my shade, my dark, and that's how it should work. Now this is where, as you can see, if I'm clever and I'm careful, I can really make the conch shell kind of stand out and stuff, so. Okay. 
and as I said, I do sometimes have controversial issue, uh, controversial opinions when it comes to the art community. But at the same time, what the art community sometimes forget is everybody is entitled to their own opinion. So I don't necessarily criticise them on their opinions because, you know, as I said, it's... Sorry, I'm just checking to see how that needs to be just a teeny bit darker. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's not, it's not necessarily the right opinion. You know, sometimes it can be <laughs> the wrong one. Uh, so, you, you know, that can go both ways. I don't, I don't care what people say. I think certain things could follow good aesthetical rules and some things people look at and go, oh, my God, wow, that's amazing. And I totally agree. But I think like when it comes to um, things like, you know, uh, yeah, it's hard to explain, but kind of like when it comes to certain things in art, you're like, really? <laughs> is that is that where you wanted to go with that? But people's choices, isn't it, at the end of the day? Um, <clears throat> excuse me guys, sorry now as you see I'm drawing quite long lines here because the way I see it is this is going to be really battered driftwood so I'm going to put the transfer back on I'm just going to start blending see how it looks, as I said sometimes you blend in you get the values that you want and the detail has to come from, from you from the, the line work and that's how I like to do things myself So as I usually say, if I'm being quite quiet, please, uh, you know, don't worry. I'm still thinking about what music I could get for this channel. Um, but at the same time, I just, looking at all the copyright stuff, it's like, uh, uh, you know, that, basically, that feeling. <laughs> uh, so I just kind of want to avoid anything copyright related and stuff like that. So as a result. I think I'm going to go just a tiny bit shade darker, but I need to make sure it's still lighter than my darker point there. Probably not that dark. Mm, a bit lighter. A bit darker. <laughs> and as I said, this is where things start kind of getting a bit more interesting. Um, now, if I zoom out, you start to see that, okay, shade's looking alright, so it's kind of meant to be a dark bit. Now, from there, I take this, my liney stuff. And then I can draw on top of now, if I draw on top of that, it's going to give a lot more kind of emphasis on that detail. And that's kind of where I'm going for. So... Because hmm. as I said, sometimes, like, don't get me wrong, you can do it without drawing every line. I just like drawing every line. It's just how I, I see my kind of style working and stuff. Um, so, it's kind of, you know.
So as I said, you know, treating it like you know, driftwood sort of thing, building into it. Get it going from there. I'm potentially going to put some, uh, I think what would be nice, because now I've got that line work again, I can go back and build more into this. So get it kind of really working. At the moment, it's very kind of jutty, it's very rigid, but I can really make that work in time. I can maybe get this bit here, for example. See, the beautiful thing as well about using... Um, using sort of like a single tone there for the hair I can just kind of blend it the way I want so I can actually get that to curve in a bit more um, which works a lot better I can get like more ridges in there um, from there and it's an easy way to kind of go forward with it but then as I said grab that again um, really build into that there and and that kind of starts looking a bit better you know and like maybe I'll kind of do the same there up there like this and then work on building more of the uh, more of the shoulder sort of area in here building that cross like so like I said I would before um, and again just having that darker tone makes it fall back more which is always nice um, and then get the hair kind of coming down a bit more and as you can see already it's starting to kind of work a bit better in my opinion so might be that I have to move this arm in just a tiny little bit so it comes down a bit but that's fine it's all part of the kind of like changing things and stuff like that but if we look at that all of that sort of stuff there that you can see instantly how much better that looks as you kind of go but then as I said before again I can do yet another layer and I can start going all right so with that almost like that high lit brush I can just go a tiny bit lighter than my lighter points I can just kind of really add a bit more emphasis into the the wood in places normally over the highlights and I could do the same again with like you know the, the darker areas and because uh, some of it will it will work and some of it, it won't and that's just because that's just how things are going to catch really um, as I said you know build a bit more in there I might even slam in a few sort of like uh, what are they called limpets and stuff on there or clams and oh no not clams there's something else but it works because if I zoom out in a moment um, see again like you know the, the darker part there can act as almost like a highlight but not a, as bright a highlight there and then if I zoom out and you can see it really works it kind of pops a lot more than it was before so you know always cool sorry guys if you can hear me drinking it's just because I've got a really sore throat <laughs> right I'm just going to take my heads off, headphones off a second guys oh. okie dokie so there are obviously going to be bits I need to go over again but slowly but surely I'm going to kind of work into this so as I said this part here is more mid-tone stuff so from there, we want to probably get me to be a bit more like that there. Uh, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Now, what I'm thinking is we potentially need to grab. Well, first of all, we need to. They're all switched off. That's now switched off. That's now switched off. Let's just merge the rest. Okay, excuse me. So that's now merged, so don't have to worry too much about that. Now what I'm going to try and do is move the arm in a bit, you see, so I can kind of just see what it looks like, really. Now if I did that there... I think that actually works too much better. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so I kind of see how it's working in my head, so it's fine. Um, oopsie daisy, didn't want to do that. There we go. I want to do this first, so I just want to kind of like, you know, erase. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Um, probably 
probably see this is the problem it's going to come in the way there but this looks so much better there in fact it, it's probably correct there that's fine i can draw over it it's fine um okay so then we got we're gonna do oh man we're gonna have to do the wood again it's fine um aspects of the wood that are gonna need to be drawn over again but that's fine because we've already kind of established what it's going to look like now here is going to be easy because it's just the hair so you can just kind of draw into that hair like so the idea is that actually the shoulders aren't as high as I originally put them and it looks better so <laughs> yeah See, I actually think that looks much more much more feasible I'm assuming I think that's fine it doesn't maybe feel as attached that's all right because what I'll do is we'll grab this part here Control T, I just remove it there. Like so. Yeah, okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Now, I do this a lot because when I first initially draw things, it's not always correct. We all know this. <laughs> but then after fiddling around with it, I'm always a lot kind of happier and stuff. So. As I said, when you've got kind of like the one gradient for the hair, it does help a lot. Now, obviously, I know it blends out when I start looking at shades and colours and stuff, but. Okay, see. This is looking a lot better, though, a lot healthier in design and stuff like that, so. Positivity. Silver linings or at jazz. Now what this does it just helps me firm up the lines very quickly. Okay, so got that there. Nice driftwood kind of armor plate, conch shell there. It's coming together, guys. It's coming together. Right, so now what I might do is I might just kind of go over some of these just to see what they're going to look like. Uh, now, trick is you don't want to add too much detail into the arms and stuff here. And the reason why is because you'll draw it too much into the like focus and that, and I don't want that. Um, And as I said, like some of the stuff's going to be a bit harder to do than others, like this hair here. Um, but that's fine. As I said, I'm just taking my time, getting it right. <laughs> you haven't missed much. I removed the arm completely around, so 
the this arm here should look a bit better now if you zoom out I'd say so okay so need to start thinking about everything else that's kind of going on on this piece now um, right let's look at this arm bit here I need to think about a bit more detail about what's going on so again I'm probably going to draw over parts draw into parts all that stuff so now I've actually done shadows well it shouldn't be shadows that's how disorganized I was when I first started this drawing um, you know it needs to be a bit more like this that's even maybe still too dark maybe a bit more like this okay okay now the biggest trick is to make sure that you're actually you know getting the right shades in there so I do need a bit of a darker shade to obviously add emphasis to certain areas like here car and build into them like that because obviously these parts aren't jutting out so they're obviously going to get a lot less light because uh, they're shadowed so really now just for you so you, you're all aware on my live stream I will be doing this one for a while I'm kind of really taking my time on it um, you know making sure that it is you know decent I, I, I really want to take this one further so my plan is you know to take it to the next level of my drawing so the plan is to stick with this one for a while whilst I um, you know whilst I really kind of secure what it is I'm, I'm doing for it and that's the plan anyway um, as you can see like you know I'm just trying to get these values like perfect basically <laughs> so that they really they really pop now because these are on the same level as these I can actually use like the highlights from here and blend them in a bit so Yes, I'll save it. Thank you very much, Black Mask, once again. <laughs> Always telling me to save my work, do you know that? There you go, saved, happy. I mean, some people, folks. Just don't. <laughs> they don't leave you alone. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, dear. It's my own fault, really. It's what happens when you allow uh, previous students to follow your live streams and stuff. You end up with uh, them telling you things that you taught them for for ages. It's great. <coughs> so now I'm going to get the blend on, but these ones don't need to be blended that much at all. So they could be really subtly kind of blended here. Um, Okay. So as I said, like you know, it starts kind of blend, fading out a little bit. You can, sometimes you don't want to lose those sharp gradients between uh, two objects. I I do in this sense. I want it all to kind of feel quite um, soft, but then have the actual drawn in element to really kind of bring in what it should be. So there we go. I want to go smaller with the brush. And I'm just going to take, oh no, take transfer off, because uh, I want it to be sharp lines. And just kind of build into this here. 
as I said, like, you know, I kind of want to keep some of that shape and stuff, and to do that, I really like to, or I have always really liked to use, um, Line line work stuff, you know. Let me build into it like this. As I said, I will look at it zoomed out. Uh, you should never judge something's quality when it's zoomed in like this, because you don't know what it looks like really until it's all kind of zoomed out and all that. See, so we will look at that in just a minute. Just gotta be really careful with my line work actually, so now if I zoom that out and see how that looks. Yeah, better, much better. Okay, so the only other thing is obviously I want to think about uh this patchy the patchy bits between, but they're easy done. Just kind of a few little lines to show the curvature don't even need to tell people what material it is really in this situation you just kind of draw into it now if I zoom out it's going to add a lot more interest to it which is great so yeah so that's the arm because I want the arm to draw attention you know it's one of the interesting points of the character so um, it adds a bit to it doesn't it so okay Oh, I've got um, I have a case. Keep going and keep uh, keep developing. See you. Right, gonna keep drawing now. I'm gonna keep going with this arm because if I can get the arm looking all right, I'll be happy. So face has got a nice level of detail, I'm trying to get the armour and the arm and all that to stand out the same way. The reason why is because I'm really, really bad <laughs> at um, detailing and stuff like that. I just I hate detailing, or rendering they call it. I really don't enjoy it. I don't know why. It just doesn't really sit well with me, so... And as I said, this is just again, like sometimes I look at things and go, how can I simulate, um, you know, it, it being something else? And this is just kind of the idea that it's just a bit more interesting, really. Um, it's maybe like layer upon layer of shells rather than, um, rather than just a simple kind of thing. Now, the thing you've got to be careful of is this draws a lot more attention than the rest of the piece at the moment. So I've got to be very careful I don't overdraw ooh, overdraw attention to um, certain elements. I want to still keep my, you know, I want to still keep my stuff fairly interesting. Again, can build stuff in there. With lack of shadow on this side, you kind of end up making it look a bit rubbish. Um, build that there. There, as I said, trying to get a certain thing here. Now, this arm is looking alright, actually, I think. Um, it's going to take a little while to figure out different elements, but hey ho, it's all good. So, as you can see, it's looking a lot more interesting than it was previously. Okay, do you think sea creatures get tired of eating fish? <laughs> um, good question. No, 
I think they enjoy it. I think they sit there and they go, do you know what? So yeah, just so for those of you on other platforms, one of the people on YouTube has just asked, Black Mask has asked whether you think sea creatures get tired of eating fish. To which I've responded, no. I don't think they do. I mean, they don't sit there and go, do you know what I could really go for? Curry. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> oh dear, makes me laugh. But yeah. Okay, so now, as I said before, you know, um, a lot of my work is going to like be complete when it's um, when I've managed to get the. Oh, what you call it? It's annoying. Um, when I've managed to get the the completed kind of uh, blah 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 blah. Sorry, trying to use my words. Let me try again. Uh, it's gonna look better when obviously I've done all of the kind of like um, all of the line work kind of textures and stuff like that. Not just the. Um, oh my god! I can't believe I keep forgetting my words. Not just obviously the. Oh, come up here. When it's not just the detailed part of the front, when the detail's kind of reciprocated across the board, it'll look a little bit better. The only thing, as I said, it's just a bit unfortunate is that it's taking, it will take longer um, to do. So, grab that there, that highlight, okay that highlight needs to come in here with a transfer brush because I want it to be really soft, a large brush, and really slowly build that in. Okay, so now I'm trying to add a bit more depth to kind of this part of the hair. That should help a fair bit. He's obviously, I uh, don't want to go that dark, don't want to go that dark. I can go like that dark. That's dark enough. Um, you know, trying to give that, that bit more kind of like depth to the hair, a bit more kind of like a 3D volume to the hair. Stuff like that. If sea women use fish scales for dresses, does that mean they use shark skin for armour? Well, I guess so, but then at the same time, um, mine uses driftwood, so which gives her a degree of buoyancy in the water.
which I think is quite cool, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but yeah, so this is looking a lot better for like her hair now. Um, it looks a lot more kind of like 3D and stuff. And then this part of her hair here. So it kind of gets a bit more interesting. Trying to find a way to blend this here really well. Because I kind of want, you know, to actually have a, a part where they blend slightly. Like here it's happening, over here, but it's not necessarily happening over here. Which would be nice if it did. Um, even if it is the part that's kind of in shadow. So... Alrighty, so that part can remain dark, I guess, here, kind of less dark, I guess. Sorry guys, it's a learning curve for me as well, so I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to build into this a bit and get that looking pretty jazzy. Thoughts so far, everyone? How are we feeling about it so far? Those of you that are, you know, feeling up to inputting and stuff. Do we kind of like where it's going? Do we think it needs more work? What's kind of the, the thought process? I think that looks a lot better, definitely. Uh, you know, it looks like there's stuff going on in the image. You wonder what a sea dragon would look like? Well, you're in luck. They actually exist. <laughs> Sea dragons are a type of um, like seahorse sort of thing. Uh, hold on. Where is it? Sea dragon. This is a sea dragon. Oh no, where'd he go? There we go. This is a sea dragon. There are actually various different types. So you got like these sorts of things here, uh, these sorts of things here. So these are sea dragons. So yeah, technically sea dragons exist. If you were, if you were wondering, um, so that is what a sea dragon looks like. Sorry, everyone, that was just uh, somebody asked me what a sea dragon looks like. That is that is the answer. So okay, right, still going, still looking good. Okay, right, what we need to think about now then? We're already on a new layer, so I don't actually need that. Let's see what that looks like now. Ah. These are the kind of colours I was going to use before. Mm, whatever I'll stick with them, we'll see. Um, right, let's keep building into this here and actually get this looking a bit more interesting. Take transfer off again because I want to try and, you know, really build into this. And it's all about. Now I think it needs to go just a pinch darker and this is what I'm talking about, it's all about like slowly building into things, and seeing how they look and all that. So at the end of the day, sometimes stuff looks better. When you just fiddle around with it by by eye, sort of, really, you know. And as I said, like you know, there's always going to be a little bit less in the way of detailing and stuff at certain points, um, just to add emphasis to things, which is fine. be careful to avoid making things flat and stuff really um. so we zoom out look at that mm. potentially want to go even darker still underneath here so it looks a bit better so 
so build under there Okay, so that's looking okay. -ish. It'll look better with the the, uh, the line working. Nothing bad stands out. Awesome. That's actually really positive for me. I think as a <laughs> oh as an overall kind of piece, you know. I think I've um. I know you guys have all followed for a while, so I know you all know that actually sometimes I don't always do the best, most well-rounded pieces. Is there any backstory for this character? Yeah, okay, so actually now would be a good time to tell it when somebody asks. Um, so the backstory is as follows. So the idea of the kind of character that I'm developing is she is the leader of a group of people called Coral Mancers who are basically, um, they, could, they decided to combine uh, earth magic and water magic. So they're being hunted down by the Geomantic Inquisition, who are geomancers, who like obviously you know use earth magic to um, to conjure golems and stuff like that. So what happened was, you know, they obviously tried to escape from this Geomantic Inquisition. They fled to the only place they could out of land, which would be obviously the ocean. Um, when they got there they obviously met with a lot of other species and stuff but in order to breathe they had to cast certain spells which were forbidden um, and as they did them and the magic touched the reef it summoned like reef golems which are also a character um, and that's where this this character kind of comes from she was the first one to summon reef golems and she's the first one to set up so now she's on the run from the Geomantic Inquisition and obviously um, you know, more people flocked to her and joined her and stuff like that. So it's quite interesting. Sorry, was that somebody knocking at my front door? Or am I just going crazy? I don't know. I think the neighbours are just dicking about. Okay, so. Start thinking about how things are looking. Yeah, so that's that's basically the uh, the the backstory of this this character. Um, yeah, pretty cool, I know. <laughs> How big is her following at the moment? Well, this character is kind of like when she's got like a small battalion of people behind her. So she's not got many people, but she's got enough. But that's where the whole idea of a coral mancer is like a new thing. It's quite interesting. And um, they're almost hunted like witches in this kind of like context. So I thought it was quite exciting. I thought that was a bit more of like an interesting um, development than some of those things I've kind of come up with in the past. I tried to build a really strong story around her to give her a bit more... I suppose a little bit more substance than I usually would give my characters. Um, but as you guys know, I'm normally drawing creatures rather than characters, so that's where this sort of idea came from. That I'd draw a character, but I'd uh, I'd make sure that I had sort of like a interesting story to go with the character, rather than just here's a character. You know, one of the things that I realized when I was drawing recently is that you know character is everything if your character doesn't have character then they don't actually fit that term character and that is the hardest thing to accomplish I've realized as well is to actually give your characters character you know you can easily make a generic person a generic woman a generic man but how do you make someone with actual character so I started looking at obviously people who have done amazing jobs with like their um, you know, some people's original characters that they've created, you know, the OC kind of thing. Some of them are actually brilliant. Um, you know, Calicot, I think it is. She does a fantastic one called Amma, 
and I'm not normally a big fan of stuff like that but it's just the amount of character that that character themselves show it's quite shocking um, you know not in a bad way I'm talking in a good way I mean like you know how has somebody done that it's just so impressive um, you know really really like that sort of stuff some people call it flavor texts oh do they? oh cool didn't know that but yeah, so that's just basically what's happening at the moment, so. But the reason I'm incorporating more line work than I did in the past as well is because actually line work is my stronger suit, so I'm trying to incorporate it a lot more into my painting. Here we go. Oh, good question. Good question, Yo Jack. Um, he asked... With the new Monster Hunter beta being released, would you ever design your own monster that can fit into the universe? And the answer is yes. I am well up for doing that. If people would like to see that, then please, you know, comment it on the video once it's done, because I'm really up for that. Um, if people are interested in seeing that, and you know, but I think it's great. I really do. Um, yeah, I'd love to do my own Monster Hunter. Is is the short uh, <laughs> short thing? I think. I, I wouldn't even know where to start though um you know i probably want to do one from every family there's the bird wyvern class obviously the wyvern class you've got things like the barry off and the ice barry off the the sand barry offs and stuff like that i mean there's just so much uh i don't i don't know if anybody has actually had the chance to play um <laughs> to play the beta i have been lucky enough to play it and oh my word i was a astounded and astounded is is a nice way but i mean i was gobsmacked it was or it is i should say absolutely phenomenal i mean i was really impressed really really impressed um what i played just that every hit on a creature you know um you know was just amazing I was really impressed. Um, just absolutely blew blew me away. Every hit on a creature does like damage, takes like scales away and stuff like that. Ah oh, yes, I know, I know, I know who it is. It's fine. I got that. Um, and yes, the beta is amazing. I know, I know, I was, did you see, did you experience, I have to, sorry folks, this is a bit of a spoiler, so cover your ears now, did you see that your palicos can, uh, can like tame um, some of the smaller creatures to like fight alongside you? I had one of the, uh, the Jagras like fighting with me and I had another one in the Baroff kind of like demo level as well that was just, I just I couldn't get over it I really could not get over it I was just like oh my god like this thing is following me now I was like this is crazy absolutely could not get over that it was just so good so good um blew, blew me away I'll be brutally honest <laughs> uh, the beta was wow so for those of you that have just joined us, uh, we are talking about the, um, the the Monster Hunter beta as I'm drawing. Uh, it's just so good. So sorry, guys, just responding to people on um, watch me work as well. Sorry, I'm just trying to relieve some of the pressure on my head because these are really uncomfortable. Oh, well, they're not actually. They're very expensive earphones, but they're still quite unpleasant. Can you guys still hear me like this, I wonder? Hold on. Uh -huh. Potentially, okay, I'm gonna like put my headphones here um, for a second and just kind of chat while I have a quick, just like stretching out my ears. It sounds really strange, but I really do need to stretch out my ears. Um, so, how am I feeling about this drawing so far? I think there are a lot of issues of values at the moment, but I'm really liking kind of the intricacies I'm building into the armor and stuff. I think that is really cool. Um, you know, I think that's really starting to look quite nice. I think there's a lot of detailing going on now. 
um, where I've never added detailing before and I think that is a pretty cool sort of thing um, you know it's pretty decent I have to admit pretty decent yes they um, yeah it's yeah they so some creatures can be tamed by your palicos which are really cool and your palicos will actually ride on their backs and fight which is so cool so you have like little mounted palicos i also like that in this one you oh hold on um yeah so i really love that in this one you obviously um you actually create your palico at the beginning name them and stuff like that i think it adds a lot more depth to the fact that you know you enjoy playing as that like with that character rather than just obviously you know here is your palico and you know this is what they sort of do it's you know as a mechanic it's like i properly grew attached to them now in the in the new generations i mean yeah i really did enjoy um playing with the with the palicos like having them as a mechanic but i didn't experience it the same way as in this demo i was like oh wow um as well as that you know i absolutely love the combat it was so good and i, I mean we're talking every time it hits i just love the fact that if you keep hitting the body parts like you know scales fly off i love that it's a lot easier to do well not even easier it just makes a lot more sense when you're doing sort of like charged attacks and stuff like that um you know when i was doing a charge attack and it's kind of like i was learning about it in the demo area and i was like oh okay like that's how you do it you know it's like you do that then you do that and then you can do some serious damage like i'm very much looking forward to it i don't have much of a hunting party though so if uh if anybody's interested in like joining my hunting party when it comes out on ps4 was was what meaty i'm confused you've lost me <laughs> Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. I am getting very much carried away about Monster Hunter, but I will be honest with you, it it blew my mind a little bit. I mean, we're talking, we're talking really interesting stuff here. So, okay. So let's just zoom out, see how all that kind of hair sticking out is looking. Yeah, good. I like that. So as you can see, like sometimes I find like the little details, like hairs sticking out and stuff, really helps add to the uh, the the overall flavour and stuff. I don't want it to feel like necessarily big bulk stuff, but uh. okay. Right now, the combat, Peter. The combat. Like, yes, yes, it was. It was, uh, I wouldn't describe it necessarily as juicy or meaty, but the combat was so impressive. Like, blew me away. Uh, it really did. It was just like something that you could really, um, really get behind. Like, you know, we're talking, we're talking when you've got, like, I mean, it's just a lot faster paced than the older games. Like, and I, I am still a huge advocate for, obviously, uh, the, the Monster Hunter on the DS. I do, do not, do not mistake my enthusiasm for a lack of love for those games but i mean we're talking they've taken all the best bits from all the monster hunter games and they've like thrown them into this demo and loads of people said i didn't see enough in the demo to kind of make me secured but it's it's let they're right it's left me with a lot of questions there are things like points going on little leveling up things going on i was like hmm how's this going to factor in in the game and stuff like that. but the idea of like tracking down like these creatures and then using your scout flies to help you find them was just like what i have no idea it did feel like dark souls but with massive monsters that's what i loved about it definitely um you know i i just it really just kind of you know when you you play something and you're just like i don't need to play any more of this because i know exactly how i feel about this already it was honestly like that at points so i was just like i don't need to play any more of this i know how how good this is like i can already tell you <laughs> and that's honestly just how i felt about it instantly i was just like this is amazing done like loads of people talk about like game of the year and i was like i honestly think this is in for a chance 
it, it looks like it's going to be something different. It looks like it's going to be perfect for bringing Monster Hunter back to console, which is really exciting. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to have like a sea glass um, belt sort of thing. Oh, do you know what? If I can afford it, I will get it because I, I totally agree with you. Like, it, it just seems like something I can really get behind the old, uh, the new Monster Hunter. I mean, I can't wait. I really can't wait. <laughs> it just looks so good. Um, and I think that's, uh, yeah. Basically, that's all there is to it, isn't there? So I have to ask, what time did I used to stream, guys? Like, when I was streaming before, what time did I least, uh, used to stream? You alright, Christian? How you doing, buddy? Look at that, everyone's coming online. I love it. I love it. Spread the word, guys. It's always cool. I, I, am, I am back in action now, so I am trying to obviously stream a lot more. Um, you should be seeing more of me. I keep doing like the whole touch wood thing so I really don't want to <laughs> I really don't want to like um, you know accidentally get myself off again or anything like that but I am trying to be a lot more active now um, you know get back into the live streaming and stuff like that so and more and more people all the time are trying to like tune in and listening to my stuff and all that so it's always cool um, in fact this is the most I've had in a long time six people watching on uh, YouTube, uh, one person watching on Twitch, and two people watching on Watch Me Work. So you know it's not a bad, uh, not a bad kind of number at all. So pretty, pretty happy with that. So yeah, but I'm just still kind of like just kind of plodding along with stuff, you know, seeing how things go. But yep. Yeah, uh, short answer to your question. I know I went on for it for ages, but I'm very, very excited for um, obviously the Monster Hunter game. Yes, I will be getting it immediately, and yes, I will team up with anyone that isn't my current student in uh, in a party because I am well up for Monster. Hunter. Like what amazed me is I don't know about you guys, but I kind of I completely like. I feel like this is the first online game that I'm going to have an actual edge on because uh, if you know like well, I've got friends that have never played Monster Hunter because they never played like on the DS and stuff and I'm there like oh yeah I'm, I'm bossing it I went and did like all the expert quests and all that on the demo and was just like yeah not too worried it's all about that great sword though you know that's that's where it's at for me I'm not much of a fan of anything else I'm a I'm a really big great sword person in the in the games, so which is always fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm glad you like the painting. Um, yeah, man. I I think it's like I'm just trying to like kind of really work work on my painting and stuff at the moment. This is probably the best piece I've done ever. Um, <laughs> me being really good to myself right now. I think it's because I'm actually taking the time to focus on like details and stuff where it's important and you know really thinking about that. I actually think we're nearly ready for sort of like. Uh, you know, like painting and stuff like that, so could be good, could be good, but yeah, I think uh, any questions anyone has, just as I said, as usual, just ask away, always happy to answer. Oh, thanks guys, no, I really appreciate that, um, I think I'm really proud of this one actually, I've been out of drawing for a little while, you know, because I've not been too well on that, so to actually... I mean, I did quite well. I'll show you what kind of I came up with last week, right? This is this is how far 
I've kind of come with it. Let me see if I can find it. Um, let me see. It's Coral Mancer, so it'll be under C. Right, so here's the different stuff I did, right? I had this one, and then I had that one. And like, let me just quickly uh, load these up, show you, right? So I had like this one, right? And that one, and I just do not like them. And then I've managed to come up with like from that, this. And you're like, this one actually feels like a decent piece of work. And no, man, like, you, like, it's not about, like, you know, it's just about practice. It's like, if a stick man's the best thing you've done so far, say it's the best thing you've done so far. Don't put yourself down and say that it's the best thing I can do. Because every time you do it, you know, like, oh, we're talking, this was one week and this was the week before, you know. Look at that kind of change. And that was just me taking my time, thinking about it putting different things into practice, you know? So, honestly, like, give yourself some credit. Don't sell yourself short. Oh, I hate when I see people sell themselves short, because, like, you know, it's not, not the case at all. Gotta be kind of... Oh, here's a question for you guys, right? The Evil Within 2. Do we know if it's a good game? Because I got it as a present for someone for Christmas, and I'm just kind of checking... Because, you know, when you're like, you get it for someone and then you go, huh, I wonder if this is any good. So, yeah. Okay, still building into that there. So this is what I'm talking about. If you're not careful, the uh, the lighter stuff kind of builds in. You didn't like the one before it. Fair enough. To be fair, the person that is going to be getting it is he, he plays like games all the time. He's really big into trying new stuff. So I think I should be all right. Um, I won't say too much because he doesn't watch my channel. But you know, you never know. He he might one day. So. Okay, reviews are good but mixed. Actually, to be fair, I picked it up for like 20 quid, so I'm not too worried. You know, it's like a present for someone. I think that's not too bad. They're family, so um, it's not like awful, is it? But yeah, he does have an Xbox One though. Don't know how I feel about that. You know, he's thinking about the old disowning them. But then I thought, nah, some people do use that, that console, don't they? <laughs> So, yeah, I think. I shouldn't make jokes. I know a lot of people like the Xbox One, and I don't want to lose viewership because of uh, cause of some, some dicey comments. <laughs> ah, I can't because he's, uh, he's, he's, he's not got a PlayStation 4. He's only got. He does have a PC now, though, so that's good. Bear Bear. Hi. Hey, Bear Bear. I don't know who Bear Bear is, but hello. How are you doing this evening? Some people might be previous students. I don't know. If you are, you may have to say. Cool art. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh, awesome. Thank you for subscribing as well. I really appreciate that too. That's awesome. And yeah, I was thinking about just kind of like buying more PlayStation 4 games for him until he did it, but he insists that his friends, apparently I'm not one of them, play on the Xbox One and that's why he did it. And I was like, hmm, I see. I see. It's terrible, isn't it, guys? It's terrible. So. Okay. Uh, I do. I try and draw. Um, at the moment, I'm on a. I'm sort of like trying to draw on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So this Thursday, however, guys, I will not be drawing. I will probably move it to. To be fair, I might move it to tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. It depends. I've got a game day. If not, I'll just try and do it sort of like Monday and next week. Um, this week I've got quite a busy week. Uh, for those of you that don't know, if you're kind of new to my channel and stuff, I'm actually a college lecturer, so I am really busy a lot of the time. But I try and draw as much as possible, so yeah, it's, it's cool. Uh, 
that's cool I will not condone pirating on my channel um, but I do agree with you know having a decent PC is very beneficial it does have its benefits for sure so yeah but yeah not too bad okay so still developing building into this stuff here okay and of course it's Jamie how do you not know it's Jamie is just always here he lives on my channel that's it exactly pirating is illegal do not pirate please it's not good and if you're going to pirate don't talk about it on my channel okay Yay, I did. It's cool. You can be arrested for pirating though, that is true. My advice would be buy the games you're playing. And the reason why, the most important reason, it's got nothing to do with sort of like, you know, illegalities and stuff like that. For me, the most important reason to buy games is like like to support the studios. The only studios I don't condone supporting are EA. And that is because they have been really, really disrespectful to their fans uh, recently and have put them through a lot. And I really don't agree with that. Um, so just always be careful on that front, you know? So, there we go. Okay, right. Now, guys, I'll probably stream until about 9 o'clock tonight, so... Yeah, Bungie has as well. I mean, it's this whole loot box situation. I have to admit that I'm really concerned about where it's going. Um, I really wish it wasn't happening. I, I understand that some people do kind of gamble with loot boxes, but let's say what it is. It is gambling, and, you know, let's protect, like, people who don't understand what it is, you know? Yeah, it's true. A lot of games do play a lot better than pirating. Um... Yeah, but at the same time, man, like, you're not supporting the devs, and I think that at the end of the day, a lot of the times they deserve it. Like, a lot of games now, you could just, like, you can try very, like, very easy. In fact, a lot of games will allow you to, like, try demos. I mean, like, look at the Monster Hunter that we're talking about. They will allow you to try, um, you know, like, a demo of the game. I mean, what it's not good that I actually really don't agree with and this is strange for me because obviously I'm like yes play go PlayStation 4 and stuff but I really think it's silly that they've limited the um the open uh the, the beta to just the PlayStation 4 I think that's going to really rub some people up the wrong way and I get it it's kind of like oh yeah like I get that it's like a Japanese game Japanese come uh like a Japanese um what you call it Japanese game Japanese company that's making the um that, that, that makes the PlayStation, but at the same time, you know, I think it's a really risky move. I think that, you know, you could, a lot of people who play games, unfortunately, can be quite spiteful, you know, and I think that's kind of where you got to be really careful. Um, okay, how are we looking? Do I want to decorate the headband? I get why you'd pirate like the really old games and I wouldn't even call it pirating because actually a lot of the times it's like impossible for you to buy the games. Do you know what I mean? So I wouldn't even see, see that part as pirating. Like, because if, like, if they wanted people to buy their games they should make them available still. Um, uh, true, I spot the indie devs over there. Yeah, I mean, that's it, isn't it? Like, with Monsanto, I, as I said, like, I'm a huge fan of the games, but it's such a... To me, it's such a risky move, because... Uh, don't go wrong, I, I think the, the benefit is those people that have always been fans of PlayStation um, are going to easily, like, 
easily get back into it because obviously a lot of them will have tried or had a PSP normally and they there was one game on the PSP so for a lot of people it's almost like that you know they've been oblivious to the um to what's been going on on the DS and stuff so for them it's kind of like oh interesting you know this is a new kind of IP for a lot of people who you know and and I think it's it's do you know what it's been a long time coming to the console it really has and uh, you know it's such an interesting game with so many mechanics the best part is you know that it's not just going to be a pretty game because obviously they um um because you know that like for a lot of people uh the oh what do you call it sorry i'm losing track while i'm drawing um for a lot of people the Mm, hold on, using my brain, using my brain, it's been a long day guys, um, <laughs> so yeah, for a lot of people, it's like a, you know, it's something that's needed to come out on PlayStation, on a console for a long time, and I'm so glad to see it, because they will have had all their mechanics down perfectly now, do you know what I mean, like, because they've, they've had to do it with basically no graphical capability, um, honestly, uh, black mask it is i will say this now because it is really important to say is that it it has got better and better and better and they are including all of that in their new game you can almost tell um like you know everything you love about the psp version i guarantee you there'll be that and more for you to discover when you play it what's monster hunter um if you've never played monster hunter monster hunter is a um it's basically a uh, it's coming out on the PlayStation 4 originally it's been out on the Nintendo DS but Monster Hunter is a game where you kind of go out and you hunt sort of like wyverns and uh like almost like mythical creatures but they're not like common mythical creatures they're kind of creatures they made up themselves they're almost almost like hunting dinosaurs and stuff like that it's a really interesting game with lots of cool mechanics it's a really cool really cool game like i I'd, I'd definitely give give it a I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Ten out of ten. Okay. Uh no, it's not about um it's not about being a monster you you act as a monster hunter so your the idea behind you is that you um it's not like evolve or anything it's more like you you get given a monster but the monsters they they act like uh a creature would in a real ecosystem which is really interesting um so like you'd get a you know like they they eat food they hunt other monsters they uh fight and interact with other monsters you have to kind of learn their move patterns and stuff like that and i think that's kind of really um what makes it such an interesting kind of game uh the one thing you can uh do is that if you get there's a ds game called monster hunter stories that recently came out i absolutely love that i put a really good amount of time into that and monster hunter stories was um you know was really cool um it was sort of like uh you know you can it's almost like think pokemon but with monsters but like kind of like monsters from the game it's really cool i've got a lot of time for the monster hunter franchise definitely um definitely definitely it's such a fun sort of like set of games to play as well like i can't fault it at all <laughs> So, yeah, but Monster Hunter, I, I swear down, is such a good sort of, like, game, such a good franchise as well. Oh, if you love Pokemon, you'll really like Monster Hunter Stories. That's really fun. You actually fight alongside your monster and you go out hunting other monsters. I don't know if many other people in the chat have tried Monster Hunter Stories, but I have so much time for that game. It was so good. Um, it's like, I've been playing the new Pokemon and I really, I'll be honest with you, like, I'm disappointed um ultra sun and moon i i mean i'm a, i'm a big pokemon fan please don't mistake that uh but i ultra sun and moon was just it was the same game and i know a lot of people said to me oh but post game i'm like yeah but i'm not playing a game for to like play x amount of hours to get to the post game do you know what i mean i want to be able to play um the the 
the game that is now sort of thing. Yeah, the story is part of the new one, isn't it, um, Jake? I, I, I'm not being funny. It it looks very exciting, very exciting. I'm pretty, uh, I'm I'm pretty excited excited for the story element of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I said, like you know, uh, I think a lot of games now though are starting to put pressure on Pokemon franchise, and I think they're gonna have to push over to the Switch. Like I played uh, Yaokai Watch as well; that was really good. Um, yeah, I mean, Gen A, seeing that, it'd be really cool. No, I don't know who Max Mofo Pokemon is. What is that? Is that like, um, is that somebody who's made like their own Pokemon? Because unfortunately, and I will tell you now, it almost probably gets shot down. Because, <laughs> uh, Nintendo are being really strict on that at the moment. As of the Pokemon company. Do you know what I'd really like to see, though? I really like what they did with the uh, Loan form uh, Pokemon. I'd like to see more of that. If if I was going to say I'd like to see more of anything in particular, I'd like to see more Loan form Pokemon. That would be... That would be the best, man. So. Oh, I know, right? It's just... if I, I say to people, if you can afford buying it at the moment... Like, you might have to wait till it goes down in price, but... but I really, really enjoyed that game. Like I put so many hours into it. Monster Hunter Stories was wicked. The only thing that I mean, that this is how good it is. It's the first game that I, I like hundred percented, like in ages. And when I say hundred percented, I mean caught every single creature, every like you know, like, sorry, raised every single creature, like d smashed the online everything. Like I did really well. Yeah, I mean, I would be interested to see. So, first of all, the remake to Leaf Green and Fire Red, nah. <laughs> I do you know what? No, I'm. I was playing the the old Pokemon the other day, and I'm just sick of it. I really am. Like, it was really good for the time, but at the same time, it just got boring. It really did. Um, I want to see. Honestly, I want to see a more gritty more challenging pokemon for an older audience um and that includes and i hope you guys uh you guys might not watch it but that includes in the 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 anime i was so disappointed how the anime changed its direction so for those that were unaware um you know x and y ash had mostly evolved pokemon he had a really strong team he was really developing as a character you know they'd really put him in there it's actually he's competent now and then they went to um you know this i can't even put it into words i really hate the sun and moon anime i've tried to watch it about three times now and every time i try to watch it i'm disappointed um you know it's it's just awful and it's a shame because you know pokemon as a as an anime as a manga has so much like scope to do so well um and i think that's what upsets me about it you know i look at it and i'm like god i really wish you'd you know you you'd done a bit more about this um to really bring it forward but they don't and that's what's that's what's sad about it um you know hi there chris how you doing Oh wow, this is the first time I think my chat has been really, really busy. <laughs> uh, I d I'm chatting about things that actually, you know, it's quite quite good. People are kind of talking about this is awesome. Oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. I really do. Um, yeah, it's just something I've been working on now for a few days. So I'm probably going to keep working on it. Um, I'm going to aim to get a bit more uh, streaming and stuff done. Uh, probably the next week now i stream every sort of like tuesday um but then i'm trying to get in there a bit more now so hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of me so it's always good but um yeah just talking about the old pokemon front guys so yeah but i would really like to see the uh the the anime take a dive in a new direction uh back to how ash nearly won the alone uh not alone sorry what's the uh, the, basically the Pokemon League in the French place, French based place or the European based place. But the um, what else would be really nice for the franchise? Actually, they could easily change it up. 
Um, I do. I'm actually going to be colouring this painting. So this one is um, is just kind of like. So what I do is I, I'll give you an example. So I paint in values, and then once I painted in values, uh, I'll do an overlay layer. So if I just grab just any colour here, just for a minute, and I will paint over, and then I will start building into that again, so I can add colour in that sense. But yeah, I will be working like more into colour aspects and stuff. So yeah, get get looking at that sort of stuff but yeah I'm intending to do that with this drawing um you know and at the end of the day Pokemon is aimed at children I disagree I think they have a huge adult following and they're not cashing in on that and that is that is where I take take issue um you know why don't they why don't they cash in on that why do they not you know try and um look into that more you know it's just food for thought Food for thought. They have some really good opportunities, and they they are not cashing in on them. And I think that's the sad part. We don't want overlay. We want normal. There we go. There we go. Right. Yeah, that is why Monster Hunter is awesome. I will agree to that because the the game Monster Hunter itself has grown with its target audience, which a lot of games you know they they do not do and i think that's what you know gets a lot of people yeah they know their audience really well they know what they want um i mean that was the one thing that uh was really addressed sorry i'm just making sure i can actually yeah i didn't want an overlay layer i wanted a normal layer which is why that's happened um yeah i think with that's what a lot of people have said about sort of like uh we're really worried about with monster hunter they didn't want it to be a um they didn't want it to kind of like come across as something different on the console but the the heads really reassured everyone that they have not taken anything away they've only added to it and you can really see that i mean what really amazes me is the uh is the ecosystem elements of it you know that, that again blew me away um so and i really do think it's it's evident when you look at stuff it's evident so so I will look at what these this looks like zoomed out after I've done at the moment I'm just kind of building into these eyes um, you know seeing what I can do to build in uh, thanks I really appreciate that well if you want to spread me around by all means um, to be fair I think it's because of the inconsistency that I you know that I stream is why I probably don't get more views but that, thank you for the compliment that honestly means a lot um, I don't you know I don't normally get that many <laughs> so but I don't mind I mean, at the end of the day I, I think it's probably because I talk through it and, uh, a lot of everyone likes my voice <laughs> which I can understand um, so you know but I do my best to kind of keep the stuff I do interesting and, you know, different and that. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate it. See, I don't know how I feel about that now. Um, maybe, maybe keep the eyes kind of the same level of like darkness there. Or maybe just do a lighter grey rather than the white. I think that might be better. Like take this one here. Oh yeah, I mean, I try to. I think that at the end of the day, if if I'm, you know, if you've tuned in to watch and I can answer questions or I can interact, I think that I will, you know. And I think that's something that I enjoy doing as well. I think it's what makes it interesting for me. So. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I prefer to talk to people, um, you know, and that's kind of my my thing. I, I'd rather chat to people i mean you know if i did get loads of viewers it might get a bit different because i would never kind of switch on music and that i just maybe end up drawing a lot less because <laughs> i'd be busy answering questions and stuff but i really do enjoy um you know talking to people and stuff like that so and as for the monster hunter question to have new online features um i don't really know uh the they didn't sh like i think you could do a bit but i couldn't find any matches when i went on so i don't know how many people tried it out i think a lot of people just kind of 
you know, feeling what the single player was kind of like and going from there. Um, but, you know, it was pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Um, I, I mean, I really enjoyed kind of what I saw, uh, stuff like that. It was quite interesting. Um, There's a lot there that kind of stood out to me when I was when I was playing the game. I mean, just the fact that when you kill a creature like um, carrion birds like fly down to actually eat the you know the remains of like a killed creature and you're like that is just such a nice thing that they've never really done before um oh thank you man i really appreciate that i'm hoping to do some actually like tutorial videos and stuff like that uh soon so my hope is to kind of like you know um like it is well basically to um is to make it not just streaming but also have like a bit more on the channel there have been a lot of people that kind of been interested in seeing that sort of stuff so yeah thank you so much really appreciate that oh thanks everyone seriously tonight has probably been the best night i've ever had for streaming i'm getting a lot of compliments and it's all going to my head so thank you so much <laughs> i really appreciate it um yeah as i said like you know tell your friends subscribe whatever you need to do but uh, yeah, if you want to help me make the channel kind of bigger and stuff, that would be awesome. So, thank you so much. I really needed to hear these kind of positive things now, so I really appreciate that. It's really cool when I get people that aren't necessarily my uh, <laughs> my my students or my like uh, ex-students, because they're kind of here because I mentioned it in class, whereas when people show up out of the blue it's always really cool um you know it kind of makes you think oh wow that's like pretty awesome yeah i mean i i was thinking about doing something like that um and kind of like you know doing the video but i always kind of like i always get a bit nervous doing it you know um every time i do it i'm like it just never feels right you know, like, I'm kind of, ah, oh, no, that's, because I'm always learning so much new stuff, and my big thing is that, like, you know, I'm always learning, and I'd, I kind of like to put that mantra on people, I don't like to be seen as somebody who's perfect, I, I really do have to develop, as do, you know, as do we all, and I really, you know, hate when people are like, this is the right way, and this is how you should do it, I, I don't always agree with that, but I can try, you know, do, like, a, my tips for the month or something, that could be quite cool, um, I could definitely get into that, and I think, as you said, like, you know, people would be interested in, in that sort of stuff. They'd probably, you know, chat more, um, get engaged more, tune in for the live stream and stuff. But as I said, I try and talk through what I'm doing as I do it anyway. So, um, you know, always cool. I mean, as I said, seven watchers on, on YouTube's really cool for me. Uh, you know, one on Twitch, not bad. I'm getting there. And uh, obviously, you know two viewers on watch me work i really appreciate it like you know all this kind of stuff it's really cool um yeah <laughs> thanks everyone oh i try to um i try and do sort of like um well i just try and like learn different stuff as i go and just i use a lot of like blending and stuff but the thing is i'm not much of a i think it's because my background i taught myself so I really learnt the techniques that I wanted or the techniques I needed um, rather than I know a lot of people go through sort of like a certain uh, background first so they go like I'd go you know they might say oh I went to digital art college or I went to um, you know, graphics design college and stuff like that and I really do think that has an impact on your style and how you are you know if you're used to approaching things in a certain way you're more likely to uh, develop things in a certain way and stuff like that so I think it's pretty cool um, but yeah I will definitely try and do sort of like the tips and tricks and stuff because I do try and keep things differently and as I said I, I don't mind doing sort of like video tutorials I, as I'm a, I'm a lecturer I, I teach games design so um, it's always something that sorry it's games design it might be VFX I don't know we, we'll, we're seeing what's happening with that but um, at the same time it's really cool uh, you know yeah really cool I love it because it's like VFX games design now I think it's changing all the time so but yeah as I said like I draw it this way and then I start painting to it but as I said like this is like me really taking it further so if I kind of save this one um, just quickly and if I open up file open if I look at where we were before so before this session 
Oh, really? <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing concept art for a living. I wish I was, um, but I always find that I need a lot more sort of like, you know, I don't know, really. I just, people have never really um, been that interested in my portfolio and stuff. So, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so my, what I actually stuck, no, that's not it. That's coastal, not coral. Uh, file open. I'm just trying to show you guys what what it was at the beginning. Uh, coral, 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 mansa. Where is it? Coral mansa. That one. Yeah. So we were. This was the original one. Um and and uh, not this one. Not this one. This one is where we're at now. So there is a big kind of step in the right direction. I'm guessing. So. Uh, why did we not learn scripting in Maya? My head was hurting at the start of this semester. <laughs> I think it all depends um, on, you know, so obviously I taught you guys um, 3ds Max and with regards to scripting it was a games design course and unfortunately games designers aren't the same as games coders and it's just like there's a whole thing um, <laughs> but I mean I wish like I had that skill set. I've got a really creative skill set and I would have liked to have like maybe gone into Maya a little bit and stuff but unfortunately time permits you know I couldn't teach all the different softwares that you guys needed um, at the time I would love to have I really would have uh, you know I think it'd be really cool but at the same time you know um, but hopefully though the cool thing is you can go away with a more varied skill set you know after you finish university you'll be like I can use this I can use that you know and it's really cool it's really cool um, great way of looking at stuff so right so at the moment I'm just trying to get the the values right so that things kind of like pop out and stuff I'm really not happy with this arm here uh, it really stands out to me I'm thinking about maybe armoring it up very lightly and stuff just to make it kind of less um, stand out a lot less but the actual artwork itself is coming on quite nicely you know um, <clears throat> Sorry guys, I might have to have a quick break and make a drink. I might carry on going mm. for a little while longer because I'm starting to feel quite confident with the um, the grayscale and stuff. I normally finish it around nine, don't I? But uh, today I'm kind of thinking I'll push on a little bit longer. Um, promised the missus I'd give her a ring, so I can't stay <laughs> too much longer. But um, yeah keep going with stuff and developing and all that as I said though you know I've got I've been working really hard recently to um, to develop my kind of like skill set and that so I think that when you do that you start to you know you start it's things start to stand out and you start to like one day you know you hit a plateau but then one day you just peak again and it's kind of how I'm feeling at the moment I feel like I'm finally developing it and getting further and stuff so so I'm going to take transfer off again I'm going to shrink stuff down I'm just going to kind of build into the line work again uh, just take the right tone there I can't believe I just did that wrong tone do 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 Okay, so as I said, like you know, I'm building into stuff. I'm kind of I always use a darker tone around the eyes than I do anywhere else. And the reason why I do that is because I think that the eyes are like they can add the most kind of a lure to someone. Um, so if they're not like just right, I find that they always lack a bit, and I struggle. So <laughs> I just kind of always building into stuff and that but as I said I'm trying to um, really work <clears throat> all right take care mate have a good one thank you for tuning in and uh, all that it was really good talking to you and best of luck at university and stuff like that as well I know you'll be great or I know you're doing great <laughs> I should have said um,
yeah I've got a lot of time for my my students or my even my ex-students and stuff like for those who are wondering why I get on so well with some people it's because they're you know they they're previous students they you know they worked really hard when they were um in my classes and stuff so obviously we stay in contact uh via the streams and stuff well you know work hard for those three days I don't want to be hearing that you've uh you've been slacking off all right <laughs> Take care though, buddy. Okay. Have a good uh, have a good holiday. If I don't see you before, uh, if I don't see you on here before, then um, you know, take care of yourself. Okay. So I'm thinking for the moment that this is kind of looking all right, and I'm kind of happy with where it's going. So I might be calling it a night soon, folks. Um, we'll see how I feel in a minute uh, or two. Like from building into it, but um, it's trying to. Okay, so I'll see you later, mate. Keep building in there. kind of want to give us some sort of like freckles bit of asymmetry stuff you know things that really add a bit more um story to the person and i think that's always a good thing to do where you can so okay Thanks everyone for being so lively in the chat. That was really awesome. Um, I really appreciate that. So, if anybody else has any more kind of questions, last sort of like you know, um, few minutes before I head off, uh, you know, just kind of polishing this up, then please feel free to. <laughs> I never let anyone slack off. Okay, I was an awesome teacher that made sure that everyone was always working. I think at the end of the day, you know, I think there's a lot of. Uh, I think the thing was with teaching, right, and this is where I think a lot of people don't realise it works, that, you know, you can schedule in a class for, like, 10 hours, yeah? 10 hours of learning isn't going to happen in that 10-hour class. You could schedule in a class for 50 hours. It doesn't work. If a student isn't in the mindset to learn, they're not going to learn that day, and that's fine. And that's what I think a lot of people forget, you know? And at the end of the day eventually one day they'll come to you and they'll need your help and that's when you need to be ready and i think that's why me and my my colleague get on so well with it because that's how we kind of approach problems and stuff we're like do you know what people go through tough times that's fine that's cool because at the end of the day i know they'll work harder for me knowing that that, that i've got their back than you know telling them off every five minutes this is how i feel but you know it's just being a teacher everyone has different ways of doing things and my way of doing things is just a little bit more open chilled out i guess than you know being overly strict and stuff like that so okay pokemon showdown every week i really don't think that that is a good idea at all 
I think that's just taking the biscuit, really. Those of you who have never played Pokemon Showdown, it's a really cool game, but if I let students play Pokemon Showdown every week, I would never have any students that did anything. Uh, that's, you know, and that's, that's just the truth, I'm afraid. I'd never introduced anyone to anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I refuse to accept that responsibility. Um, I totally did though, didn't I? <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Um, I genuinely, I did not think for a second. I didn't go, oh yeah, I introduced that. I genuinely forgot. I never did. I refuse to take the blame for that. Look, it's not my fault. I introduced it, but everyone else got addicted to it. That wasn't my fault. I was just chilled about it. I never let it happen in my classes. Not intentionally, anyway. Ah, you're not supposed to say what college I work at. That's not good, is it? Sorry, I've had to remove that message. <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing on. Nothing on you. But obviously, can't say where I where I work because then it's like, uh... no, nah, it's right. Don't worry, I got rid of it as well at the same time. I don't mind. It's it's just I don't know if it could get me into trouble or not, so I'd rather not risk it. I work nowhere, everyone. <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> it's right. We didn't say it out loud, so it's cool. Um, but yeah, I think at the end of the day. Yeah, but you got to have those kind of moments of, like, relaxation and stuff when you're teaching and that. You can't always be, um, like, hardballing it every time. It sucks. You know, you want to have a bit of fun, have a laugh with your students, because then they'll work harder for you in the long run. Or well, I've noticed that. And I know, uh, like, my colleagues noticed that as well. So, pretty cool. Yeah, and I think that's how it works, you know, I think that's how things should go, um, personally, but then, you know, everyone teaches differently, and I think that, you know, my method isn't always the best method, I think sometimes, like, a stricter kind of method works just as well, I think that's the cool thing, so. I think it depends on your students, and, like, your class sizes, and all that kind of stuff, so, let's see, does that look better than that? I think that looks better, but I want to dial down the eyeshadow. Okay. Have to draw over them again in a minute. reason I do that is because obviously I want to do oops don't want to transfer I want that there we go okay so
Dark Town. Texture brush. Okay. Ah, not texture. Transfer. Jesus. I'm having one of those moments, folks, I'll be honest here. I think the lips need a bit of work, but I'm actually quite tired, so I probably won't work on them today. I'll probably just build into them over the next few kind of next few sort of like sessions. Because the next thing I want to do is start adding kind of like color and stuff. So I'm gonna have to see. I think I probably will though, just to because obviously I do use line work and stuff. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Just make sure that you can tell that the lips are there. Then zoom out. That's better. Okay, so I think that actually looks a lot better than it did. No, I'm not giving her a moustache. She doesn't have a moustache. Look, you, it doesn't look like that at all from afar. <laughs> Remember, you got to look at what it looks like from afar. That's the important thing, you know. Okay, so kind of check out those colours again. Yeah, I need to fill around with it. That's fine. So that's going to be it for tonight, folks. Um, I will be posting this on Instagram, which you can find at the bottom of my explanation. But, as I said, I'll probably be on da, 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 next Tuesday now. But I stream mostly Tuesdays and Thursdays. But this Thursday, I am off to see my parents for dinner. So, on that bombshell, uh, I would like to say goodnight. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And thank you very much for, obviously, the really engaging chat in the conversation. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I look forward to seeing you all again really soon. Uh, take care, everyone, and have a fantastic evening. And please, don't forget, be nice to somebody. Take care. Bye now.